Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bent Knitter. So, I just wanted to take out a video to talk about blocking. Hooray! Uh, in case you don't know what blocking is, usually blocking is done after you finish knitting to kind of um, stretch out your project a little bit, flatten out the cor like the edges, um, and what you do typically is uh, soak your project in water, pin it out on mats or a uh, flat surface depending on what you have in a large open area and let it dry so this what this does is like I said stretches it out but also flattens it so I know with a lot of projects um, it tends to curl at the edges as, um, so this will help flatten all that out so that way um, it is just one flat surface for your blanket or scarf um, so what I, the reason why I wanted to kind of take out a time to talk about it was just because um, I started looking for mats, uh, blocking mats. Um, I've been meaning to get them for a while now. I've been so bad about it. I have so much finished knitting projects that I have to block, which I just have it in my basement. So I started looking around on Amazon and on Michaels um, and store and kind of online. And I was a little disappointed with Michaels just because they have a lot of yarn products, uh, knitting needles, other assorted things that you would use for knitting, but they didn't really have anything in terms of blo blocking. Um, the mats that they had were just one square block. Um, I'll show in a second. Um, but, uh, but they didn't have any packs. So what I settled on was actually this... Uh, I found this great thing online. I'm going to put a link in the description. From Humble, Humble Crafters. This is just one of them. It's a square foot. Um, it's about an inch thick and it's foam so that way you can put all your pins in it so it kind of stays flat and it's also you know water resistant and all that stuff so that way um, it doesn't get wet and it lasts for a while. Now I found this on Amazon and it actually came in a nine pack and also it came with a hundred pins for thirty dollars which was actually pretty good it was a pretty good price um, like I mentioned before, I was disappointed with Michael's because they just had individual pads, just like one of these, for like four bucks. No pins, just one of them, so it was much more expensive, and so I kind of went online um, to do it because I got a much better deal in terms of what I wanted. Um, I still need more just because like I do a lot of blankets and all that, but these are great. Um, I highly recommend them if you're new to blocking or need it. But also, what I like about them, as you can see, all four sides um, have kind of the puzzle piece edge. So that way, you could get 50 of these and put these all in, uh, all together. So that way, you can have as big of a place as you want, uh, wherever you want to do it. So, you know, in your basement, spare room, where have you, um, you can kind of add it together, which is nice because, again, like I said, I need much more <laughs> for my blanket, um, you know, I need like five square feet or six square feet just for, to fit some of my blankets. So I'm definitely going to get more of these. Again, I'm going to put an Amazon link in the bottom so that way in case you're interested, go check them out, go buy it. 30 bucks for nine of them and a hundred pens. Uh, but what I, what I also recommend, what I also got was buy some extra pens, which is actually what this is. Um, knit IQ, um, Really cool, 150 pens. It was seven, seven and a half dollars, which is not bad. Um, the, these are actually just all pens. Um, I actually like these pens more than the pens that I got with the box because these feel just sturdier and more reliable. So that way, I, I definitely like the pens um, here a lot more. But if you're just starting out or want to add more, definitely go with uh, the Humble Crafter bundle. Um, because it's a good way to get needles and a nine pack of um, squares so that you can start pinning and you can put them in any ori orientation. So I'll put a link for the pins and also for the humble pack in the description below. If you know of any other things I should check out in terms of blocking, let me know. I know there's a different couple different ways to pin down your stuff. Um, and when I say pin, like uh, this. May not really show up well on camera, but um, it's these are called T pins. Does that show? And yep. um, yeah, that shows up really terribly. No, 
contrast with my forehead. Um, but yeah, like that's what they look like. I know so, um, some of them have bigger, wider blocking tools, so maybe I'll check those out. But there you go. That's what um, I'm also going to try uh, to alter it because blocking does take a while. What I want to do is actually get a dehumidifier, like a small one, to see if that helps, helps with it. Um, and I think it is important just to get a dehumidifier because I don't want to put any heat or AC on the project. I just want to suck all the water out. So I think in a little while I'm going to uh, do another video just to kind of follow up in, in terms of my ex experiments with a dehumidifier. If you have any questions, comments below, and I will talk to you guys later.